Hello and welcome to the price draw of the MUS 1099 uh, giveaway. Celebrating 255 subscribers, or almost thereof. Uh, now we are already over 270, which is nice. I've got a couple of submissions uh, less than I uh, was expecting almost, but hey, um, the people have a 1 in 4 chance to win. That's terrific odds. So I again wrote a nice little program to pick the winner. Um, last time we had the nice fire program, but this time I thought i do something in text mode, pure DOS text mode. So nothing with the VGA graphics mode, but still doing uh, VJ register tricks, uh, doing the palette manipulation that you already know. There's a few things to think of when doing stuff in the text mode. The first thing, so uh, if you haven't watched the Let's Code MS-DOS part, uh, then I suggest you um, go to the playlist Let's Code MS-DOS and uh, watch the VGA part at least, uh, because it tells you about how the graphics hardware on PCs works, at least on vintage PCs, and I'm gonna assume that you watch that and know a bit around this part. So um, first we had the defines for the video interrupts modes and uh, what we changed here is the number of colors because in text mode we only have 16 colors not 256. The palette registers and the vertical retrace are still the same. The address of the memory has actually changed. So before the graphics memory would be at address A0 and all the use, so A000 for the segment, and the um, text memory is actually located at B800. So that's something to take care of. Uh, I think we don't need the clock, but I've kept it in there. Second of all, what I want to do is to have a seven segment counter on screen, a text version of this, and I need to encode all the digits. So um, the bars are encoded like this. Center bar is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This is sort of like all the seven segment displays are uh, usually done in real life. And I've encoded this uh, in bit strings and put them to hex because you can't put bit strings uh, in C, at least not in the old C that I'm using here. And this is just an encoding of the digits and we want to have uh, in the end a random number displayed from 0 to 3 which will tell us which of the four winners actually has won the card. So that's that. And then we have a uh, little frame buffer content. Um, this will be put on the screen. This is the seven segment display as you can see. Uh, this Emacs can't display this but this will be a nice block graphics style thingy. And here are the potential winners. Uh, whoever will win will be picked later. And um, the uh, the contents of the frame buffer are made up of the characters themselves and the second part is the attribute or color buffer. Uh, the VGA card and the EJ and CGA cards have like two bytes, one character and one attribute to determine the contents of the screen. The attribute byte uh, has a high and a low byte. The low byte will tell us the foreground, for example, F is 15 and it will be white, and the high byte 0 determines the background and 0 is black. And uh, we will play with the colors. So basically this is a mapping from the human readable, more or less human readable digits to the actual high low byte value. So I look up the 0 and it will tell me, okay, I have to write a 0F into the memory. I read an 8, then I will have to write uh, something 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 0x, 0, 0, 8. 
that's pretty easy, right? Um, and if you're wondering why there's a colon and a semicolon here, because I can simply subtract the character 0 from it and I will get the number 10 and 11 from that. Okay, so uh, some extra functions, hide cursor, so we don't have a blinking cursor there. Set mode is from the old uh, VGA stuff, you already know that. And there's a buff to RAM function which copies uh, the uh, frame buffer and the color buffer or the attribute buffer to the text memory. And it's really not that hard, we just go by row and by column, compute the address of the target, I have to multiply by 2 because uh, every second byte is only a character, and for the attribute we multiply by 2 and take plus 1 because only the odd bytes are attributes. All right, um, then we come to the actual color effect. Um, we will interpolate between different palettes and the VGA card doesn't use the 16 colors in, at indexes 1 to 15 or 0 to 15, but it jumps across some. So first five colors are fine, and then it jumps to color index 14, 7, and it's all jumbled from there. So every time we want to write to the palette, we need to look up the actual index first. So if we want to write the 14th color, we will take a look at the index here and say, okay, this is color 3D for the VGA card. Um, I'm doing just a little interpolation between the different palettes, and uh, instead of having to rewrite the frame buffer for the 7 second display, I basically just turn on and off the colors uh, pretty hard to imagine, probably, how that will look like, but in the end what we'll do is we will um, randomize and pick the winner. Uh, this just random number modulo 4, because we have 4 people who could win, and then we uh, count down from 20, uh, we'll display uh, on the seven segment display the number, the current number, modulo 8, until we've reached the winner. So it takes anywhere from 16 to 20 steps. And this will be uh, interpolated from one seven segment display position to the next, so it looks nice. And then it waits for a key press and we're done. So very simple. Um, well, actually, the code is rather complex, of course, but uh, you can have a look. I'll put up a link to the gist too, so that you can check it out. Um, yeah, let's run it, I would say. Let's see who will win. So let's run the program. There's no uh, screen redraw. It's all just manipulating the VGA palette registers. I think oh, this looks actually pretty nice and it's pure text mode. And we have a winner. Dan has won the uh, sound card. Congratulations. I will contact you and ask you for your shipping details. Um, hopefully we managed to get it out this week. And uh, we'll close off with a rendition of the Monkey Island theme as recorded on the very same card that Dan just won. I thank you all for taking part in the competition, for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing, etc. And I wish you a very nice evening.